G'day everyone, Oxygen Farmer. The uh, issue of growing your own food um, and having a year-round supply requires a bit of planning and a little bit of knowledge about uh, where you're living, what your earliest frost is, what your last frost is, um, but most importantly, um, what foods you like to eat, because they're the ones that you should grow. For me, I'm in the Hunter Valley, and according to the Bureau of Met, I'm in the blue zone here, which is the temperate zone. So, uh, the information that follows is about the temperate zone in Australia. So think about what your preferred foods are and then put them on your list of what to grow because you need to grow what you like. Now this is for Australian temperate climate for February. Now what can you start in seedlings this month? In February we've got a few. We've got broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, uh, collards or borocale, leeks and onions. And in terms of transplants, we have got lettuce. Um, so it's just starting to get into the um, uh, seed raising mix and let's go. So for February, we can sow direct amaranth, bush beans, beetroot, verdict, carrot, chives, Cucumber, endive, Florence fennel, kohlrabi, lettuce, mustard greens, oregano, parsley, radish, rosella, uh, salsify, the uh, vegetable oyster, um, silver beet, Swiss chard, swede, rutabaga, and turnip. So basically, a few of the uh, January plants, uh, it's getting too cool for them, or it will be. And we've got the addition of endive and fennel. For amaranth, you want to plant that in a garden bed, 50 centimetres apart, harvest in seven to eight weeks. Weeks. Bush beans in the garden bed, five to 15 centimetres apart, harvest in seven to 10 weeks. Carrots can grow in containers or garden bed, 5 to 30 centimetres apart, harvest in 12 to 18 weeks. Chives in containers or the garden bed, 5 centimetres apart, and then harvest those in 11, 7 to 11 weeks. Cucumber in your garden bed, 40 to 60 centimetres apart, harvest in 8 to 10 weeks. Endive, plant in containers or garden bed, 20 to 30 centimetres apart, harvest 10 to 11 weeks. For Florence fennel, uh, containers or direct in the garden, thin the, the plants to 15 centimetres apart and harvest 14 to 20 Kohlrabi weeks. Kohlrabi in the garden bed, 10 to 25 centimetres apart, harvest in 7 to 10 weeks. Lettuce in containers, garden bed 20 to 30 centimetres apart, harvest in 8 to 10, 12 weeks. Uh, marrow in the garden bed, 90 to 120 centimetres apart, harvest in 12 to 17 weeks. Mustard greens in the garden, or, or container, 30 to 5 to 60 centimetres apart, uh, and harvest that in um, 5 to 8 weeks. Um, great in stir fries. Oregano, oregano for the northerners, uh, in containers or the garden bed, 15 centimetres apart, harvest that in six to eight weeks. Parsley in containers or the garden bed, uh, 20 to 30 centimetres apart, harvested in nine to 19 weeks. Um, radish in containers or a garden bed, three to five centimetres apart, harvest that in five to eight weeks. Rosella in the garden bed, 140 centimetres apart, harvest in 21 to 25 weeks. Salsify, otherwise known as vegetable oyster, um, 
in a container or garden bed 15 to 20 centimeters apart harvest in 14 to 21 weeks silver beet or chard in containers or garden bed 15 to 30 centimeters apart harvest that in 7 to 12 weeks swede or rutabaga in uh, the garden bed and it uh, need to be planted 10 to 20 centimetres apart, harvest in 10 to 14 weeks. Harvest in 11 to 14 weeks. Turnip in containers or garden bed, 20 to 30 centimetres apart, harvest in 12 to 20 weeks. So that's a few things for getting seedlings started for the upcoming weeks later in February. Um, and few garden beds to get organised for direct sowing. Anyway, keep growing, have fun, um, make mistakes, learn from your mistakes, but um, grow your own food. <laughs>